All right, here we are. We're going to attempt to make a, a rock net, a boulder sling. That's four. How many do we need? Yeah, I think four will work. So, put the swages on there, and then we're going to make loops. All right, look. Probably easier if you're trying the middle, right? What do you got for a line? Oh, it's a 139 and a half. Okay, it's 139 and a half. Half of 139 and a half. 69 and three quarters. That's all right. So each one of these loops is uh, 11 and a half. And how close and a half so we'll, okay, so we'll have to, we'll have to crimp the center one and then lay out the 11 and a half inch loop and then crimp that one. So today I'm going to modify the boulder sling. Me and John uh, back at camp, we made this kind of prototype. We never made a net before, so we gave it a try. And um, it worked all right, uh, but it definitely needs to be modified. So let me tell you what we did. Uh, this is exactly the middle from here uh, to here. And what was happening is um, when I put the, the sling around the rock, the middle here just kind of, you know, these things would slide open. And it just leaves like a big gap in the middle here like that and uh, you know the rock just kind of slid through so um, I just got to modify this so what I'm probably gonna do fix that so uh, what I'm gonna decide here is just kind of like a bird's nest right now but but this is exactly half so kind of give you an idea what I think we should do is um, so yeah, this figure right here, that this worked pretty good, but I think it needs to be locked down. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a swage there, one there, one here, one here. And I'm going to have to cut this one off to, uh, to get these on. And so I'll have to put another one there. But I might see if I could try to twist this for this whole thing oh no that's lb3 i don't know anyways i'll figure it out um so i'll need another swage there and on this side so it's, instead of being there being a big gap right here i'm gonna take a swage and connect those two so that figure eight will be connected to this figure eight and i think that will work well it's gonna work a lot better than it did because I couldn't really use it because the rocks are just kind of sliding through the middle. So I think if I lock everything together, it's going to work out just fine. The problem I'm having is, um, so this loop here, I, you know, needs to get connected. But these swages, there's no holes in them. you got to put them on the line before. Uh, and that's going to be a problem because this is, you know, connected here and it's connected there. So the only option I have is to cut, cut the wire rope. You know, I'll have to cut it for each one. So I'll have to cut this, slide this on, and then try to put it back on with this. And you know, this one's easy because just one swage. I'll just cut that right off. And, uh, you know, I'll put all the swages on this line. Won't be a problem, but I'll have to cut this line, cut that line, cut that line, cut that line. 
and try to mend it together with this and it might work it might not you know because um it's going to be cut and i can only get three crimps on these i believe so i don't know anyways I'll, I'll give it a try see if it'll work and if it doesn't work i'll just have to start the net over from scratch but when i put the net together you know i'll make sure to put one of these on before i crimp this one and this one and then you know feed it through through this one so this is kind of a prototype net but i think it'll work out there's probably a different way you can make these for sure but um you know i don't know just kind of winging this one so we'll see if we can uh, get this net fixed. I decided to change the plans again I think I came up with an even better design so I'm kind of making this on the fly here so what I'm gonna do is uh, I got this loop here you know I cut that put the swage in there I cut this loop put the swage in so I got a loop going around and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna marry these two with another swage right here and then I'm gonna connect um, each end one right there one right there and uh, that should lock this whole thing in place and now I'm gonna do the same for the other side and that should um, that should work out pretty good this is gonna be a nice strong solid net I believe and I think it will work all right so here is the finished result except for I didn't crimp yet um, but pretty much um, all I got to do now is of course I'm one swage too short so all I got to do is cut this cable here and connect these two and i'll be totally done um you know that goes into there but uh yeah this is it this is uh this is the finished result it was uh, a little bit too hard and too finicky to get it perfect like you know this needs just a little bit more slack and so does that one but you know what it's uh it's good enough close enough in order to get a little more slack here i have to feed the extra line all the way through all this and I tried doing that actually, but then all these uh, other swages came undone and it was just a big bird's nest. So it's not completely perfect, but I think it will work. Um, I mean, it's just a net to bowl boulder, so it does not be pretty, but I think this is it. So now I just gotta grab my clamp and clamp it all down. And uh, so these swages too, these are the, these are copper swages that have a, uh, um, I think it's uh, coated in zinc like you can see the copper right there it's uh, the copper ones are supposed to be uh, better because they're they're not brittle like the aluminum ones the aluminum ones um, I hear it crack a lot and just snap and these copper ones are a little bit more forgiving because they're softer so um, all these are these are all the copper ones except for I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy one and they only have aluminum ones but there's a store a few miles from me that sell them so I'm gonna go down there and uh, pick up my last wage and this project will be done these aluminum ones are harder to, to crimp That is done finally took me long enough so now I gotta go put this thing to test and then voila look at that hope you can see it I think that's gonna make a nice boulder net can't wait to give that a try all right until next time
That's where we want it. Hey John, do it again. Look at that, my arms aren't even tired. All right. Cool.